hi guys welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to make this belt bag slash bum bag i made a rough pattern on paper and i suggest you do too so you know where to fold the material it just makes life so much more easier so this pattern is 22 centimeters by 22 centimeters i then folded the sides in so that the length becomes 18 centimeters i then folded the top and the bottom crossing over each other to make an envelope bag so that the width becomes 11 centimeters. By the way guys, I created a blog so that I can put my measurements and you know details of my patterns on there in the hope that I can make my video shorter. So I'll put the link to that blog below. As I'm using a pleather material, I'm going to use fabric clips to hold it in place. But before I sew this down, I need to cut a strip of material for the belt to go through. So I cut a piece of material at approximately 15 centimeters by 5 centimeters. I positioned this at the back of the bag, but a little bit towards the top rather than the middle or the bottom. And then I sewed this little strip in place just along the top and along the bottom so that the belt has room to pass through. Now once I did that, I turned it over again and I wanted to secure the front section. So I use a thick needle to pierce holes before sewing the sides together with a really thick thread. You don't need to pierce the material first, I just did it so that I can indicate where I wanted to sew so that I could avoid making mistakes and creating unnecessary pinholes. For the flap, I decided to use small eyelets for decoration purposes. Now I chose not to line my bag because I made it as a last minute thing so I could wear it on the day but lining the bag would have given a better finish. To finalize the bag, I added my magnet fastening. Now as the fastening showed up on the outer part of the bag, I decided to conceal it by making a small bow out of scrap material. Now all you need to do is add your belt and you're done. This was such a quick project and you can literally make this within an hour. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also feel free to check out my blog, it's called notacatwalkmom.com but I'll place a link down below where my DIYs meet my motherhood journey. Other than that, I will see you in my next tutorial.